Welcome back to my channel, Glitter Babes. Today I'll be creating a room divider. I'll be starting off by connecting an L bracket to this six inch piece of wood. And I'll be attaching a bracket on each end. Now I'll be attaching the six inch piece of wood to the six foot piece of wood. And I'll be doing the same thing to the other side. And after I complete this one, I'm gonna do two more. After I did them, I took them outside and spray painted them gold, but I would recommend that. I don't know why I did that. I would just save that until last. Next, I'll be adding on hinges to create the divider. And like I always say, I like to recycle things so these pieces of wood are kind of flawed, but I'll be correcting that later on. You will need a total of six hinges to create this divider. And I'll be using my drill to attach the hinges. Next, I'm gonna flip this side of the divider over. That way, this side can fold over the opposite way. And I'll be attaching three more hinges on this side. And this is how the frame of the divider looked after. Next, I taped two foam board pieces together and I added on another four inches. Okay, brace yourself for this next part. It's not really hard. You just have to trust yourself. And I'll be using this piece of wood to trace out the pattern. So I made two parallel lines on each side and I'm gonna be drawing like V's, like almost the shape of a V. It's really simple, just make sure that your V's open up on the edges of the foam board. And if you're creating this project, don't feel the need to create um, the whole thing at once, I would take my time and do certain sections first so you can see how it's looking so i decided to stop on that side and start creating my v's on the other side and if you notice um, i'm trying to do this side a little different than the other so um, i'm trying to overlap the v's on the other side now i'm going to take my box cutter and start removing the v's in between And like I said, I decided to do this side before completing the other side, just so I can see how everything is looking. And when I'm doing this part, I'm making sure I only cut where I'm supposed to be cutting. So I'm only cutting the longer lines. And if you do cut a part that you're not supposed to cut, just tape it back on and I promise no one will notice. So 
So after I was done with that side, I continued to the other side and slightly overlapped the other one. And there's really no rules to this. I'm just going as I feel. And again, I am removing uh, this side again, just to see how everything is looking. So the panel ended up breaking in two parts and that's fine because I'm gonna glue them on separately. Okay, so this part I have to show you um, just so I can tell you not to do it. <laughs> this part was actually not necessary. I did it to make the um, panel stronger, um, but I ended up using glitter and Mod Podge, which made it stronger anyways. So it was pointless. And then another thing is, is I used uh, masking tape and that was a bad idea because it kept falling off. Now for the next couple of panels, I did two more panels. I just placed the cutouts on top and traced them so it would be easier. So I did a total of three panels, and here are the cutouts. And the pieces will be determined by how you choose to cut your panels. I then placed my panels under the divider frame, and I'm doing this because I decided that I wanted the panels to sit right in between um, the pieces of wood. So I'm just tracing out um, the panel, and I'm gonna cut off any excess foam board. And now I'm gonna be taking the pieces of foam board and gluing them to fit inside the frame. The first thing I'm doing is making sure they're balanced and even. And I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and start uh, attaching them to the edges of the frame. Thank you. 
Next, I'm placing the second piece on top and I'm gonna be doing the same thing. Then I place the rest of the panels on the ground and I'm gonna trace them and cut them out as well. I did flip one of the foam board panels um, the opposite way because I wanted it to create a design. And this is how they looked when they were attached. And then I did go ahead and start ripping that masking tape off because it was freaking terrible. I then took my divider outside, spray painted it gold, and I'm gonna be using my masking tape to go around the perimeter and I'm gonna start adding my Mod Podge. So this part right here, I got this Mod Podge from Walmart and realized that a customer bought this previously and added water in it and I ended up buying it out of all people. So that's why it looks watery. I ended up having to go back to Walmart, returning this and getting another um, container of Mod Podge. And uh, as you can see, it looks a lot better. Um, so I'm gonna cover this panel with the Mod Podge and start uh, adding the glitter. And then I'm gonna move on to, to the second and third panel. And um, after I'm done with all three panels, I'm going to go over the panels one more time with the Mod Podge to seal in the glitter. And this is how she turned out. I'm so glad I added the gold glitter. It really gave it a bling that it deserved and it really made the design stick out even more. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I do post. Thank you and see you later, Glitter Babes.